I was born and raised in Merrill, Wisconsin, which is about an hour north of Stevens Point. Uh, my family were German immigrants who uh, immigrated to Chicago and then homesteaded up in northern Wisconsin. So as a young person, my parents were very supportive and nurtured my interest and love of music. Henry, more than he knows, inspires so many other colleagues, other adults that work with Henry, whether they are on the board of directors, whether they're on staff. He has a mastery of his talent, uh, a, a great skill in conducting. Of course, he teaches it. He's an author. He's a choral arranger. He is an astounding educator. My music experience began very early. Uh, I'll never forget my first solo. I was four years old and sang for this enormous church congregation, uh, Star of the East, uh, on Christmas Eve. As a young person involved in music in my church and in my school, I was inspired very much by the church organist, Alan Anderson. When in high school, I had two wonderful directors. Uh, Fred Muma was the uh, band director that I studied with and he nurtured my musical talents very much and Helene Ader was the high school choral director. One of the real turning points was coming several summers to band camp at Stevens Point and I actually there is a moment that I recall I think I had just completed the ninth grade and I was in the big auditorium in Old Main and I remember the moment to this day there were blue draperies and it was kind of an old auditorium and there was a guy there by the name of Dr. Foltz from Missouri and I actually came as a band uh, camper but signed up for choir and we had this incredible experience where we were singing music and of all things I was singing Hold Your Mule While I Dance Josie and right then and there I said this is really fun I think I love singing in a choir. You know, when you think of just of his artistry, let's look at that level. He has influenced many conductors just by the way he conducts, the manner he conducts. Uh, people from all over the world have studied with him just to learn about his conducting. Henry and all that he has done with his career has touched more than just the kids that he's worked through, uh, worked with with ICC, but he has had an amazing impact on cool conductors around the country. He doesn't put those boundaries on children. He's, he's absolutely right. So I think that's how he achieves it, is without putting boundaries on things and thinking about limitations, but thinking about possibilities. Marjorie Aber uh, has had international influence with her work in Suzuki Method, and I felt very, very privileged to study conducting with her and uh, to work side by side with her in the, in the beginning stages of the Suzuki movement in America. When I look back, uh, probably the things that stand out most are singing in the opera productions. I loved singing in Marriage of Figaro and singing Don Pasquale and singing Carmen and singing in Sound, uh, uh, South Pacific. Uh, those were great shows and, and I, I still to this day can sing practically any line in Carmen. They're not just a bunch of kids, they are truly um, artisans and great musicians. And professionally, what Henry has brought to that realm of the profession is, is astounding. It was always just Mr. Leck and ICC, and now being in ACDA, the Children's Honor Choir, it's, it's helped me realize that he's not just Mr. Leck, he is a world-renowned conductor. Being given this incredible honor of distinguished alumnus of the College of Fine Arts and Communication is unbelievable for me. Uh, to think of all those folks who've passed through uh, this institution since then, it's indeed a great honor and a privilege for me to be considered. As a recipient of this award, I'd certainly like to thank those who were involved in nominating but more than that, I'd like to thank the current faculty of the College of Fine Arts and Communication for your efforts in continuing the great traditions that have been established here, continue to, continuing to work with those students to help them grow and achieve great things as well.